So let's continue solving examples using the mirror equation and concave mirrors. So suppose we place a 1.00 centimeter high object right side up to the left of our concave mirror a distance of 12 centimeters. So this is our concave mirror. This is the center of the concave mirror. This is our axis and we place our object right side up 12 centimeters to the left of our concave mirror. So this distance is 12 centimeters. So let the radius of curvature of our concave mirror be 36 centimeters. So the perpendicular distance from the center of our concave mirror to this point R is given by 36 centimeters. So using the given information in part A, we want to find the image distance. In part B, we want to find the magnification, also known as the lateral magnification. And in part C, we want to find what the image height is. So before we begin part A and before we apply the mirror equation, we have to calculate what the focal length is. So let's recall the relationship between the focal length F and our radius of curvature R. So the focal length is the distance, is the perpendicular distance from the center of our concave mirror to the point F. So the focal length F is equal to R, the radius of curvature, divided by 2. Now R is given to be 36 centimeters. 36 centimeters divided by 2 gives us 18 centimeters. So the focal length, the distance from the center of our concave mirror to this position is 18 centimeters. So notice that our object is placed between the center of our concave mirror and the focal length. And in the previous lecture we saw that the object was placed between the focal length and our our radius of curvature. So now we're going to discuss what type of image is formed when the object is placed between these two points. So let's begin with part A. Find the image distance di and we want to essentially apply the mirror equation which we derived in a previous lecture. So, 1 divided by the focal distance is equal to 1 divided by the image distance plus 1 divided by the object distance. So, let's rearrange our equation and let's bring the known values to the left side. So, 1 divided by the focal length minus 1 divided by the object distance is equal to 1 divided by the image distance, what we're looking for our unknown. So 1 divided by f is 1 divided by 18 centimeters because we know that f is equal to this quantity. Now 1 divided by do, the do is given to be 12 centimeters. So minus 1 divided by 12 centimeters. Now this is equal to, if we plug this into our calculator, we see it's about equal to negative 0.028 centimeters to the negative 1. So that basically means this quantity is equal to 1 divided by di. So if we multiply both sides by di and we divide both sides by negative 0.028, we get the following value. So di is equal to negative 36, so approximately negative 36 centimeters. So what exactly is the meaning of the negative? So the negative sign indicates that the image is 36 centimeters to the right of our concave mirror. So that basically means because our image is behind our mirror, the image is in fact a virtual image. Now, let's move on to part B. So find the magnification, the lateral magnification. So we have to apply the following equation. 
m, our lateral magnification, is equal to negative di, the image distance, divided by do, the object distance. So in part a, we were able to calculate the image distance, which is equal to negative 36 centimeters. So negative multiplied by negative gives us a positive. 36 centimeters divided by 12 centimeters gives us positive 3.0. So the fact that it's greater than 1 means the image is greater than the height of the object. So the height of the image is greater than the height of the object. And finally, let's move on to part C. Find the image height. So m is not only equal to this ratio, but it's also equal to hi divided by ho, where hi is the height of the image and ho is the height of the object. So multiply both sides by ho, hi, the image height, is equal to m, the magnification found in part b, multiplied by ho, which is given to be 1 centimeter. So 1 centimeter multiplied by positive 3, gives us a height of 3 centimeters. So that basically means that our object is right side up. The fact that it's positive means the object is right side up and it's three times greater than the original height of the object. So the image looks something like this. The image is a virtual image so it's found behind the mirror so that basically means the image distance is negative.